everybody, and welcome to Meals with Melissa, where we come up with healthier options of things, the foods that you love to eat. Now, notice I got a new apron, and you can actually read it, so <laughs> when everything's backwards on Facebook, yeah, I gotta work with it. All right, so I'm in cram space today, uh, but I've got a great recipe for you. It's one that my daughter sent me from somebody she found on Instagram, and I will make sure I post below and give credit to where the credit is due, because that's really important, but it's super easy. This is just another option of what to use your air fryer for. Now, I've done a little bit of work ahead of the game, just because it took a few minutes. So let me fill you in. We are making rice paper salmon bites. So it's something if you really like, kind of like the sushi end of things uh, is cooked, uh, but, or if you like just something that's a quick snack, or if you're just trying to find creative ways to use your air fryer, this is a good one. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, you absolutely can grill it or bake it or do something different. But um, if you love salmon, it's a great option. So the first thing I did was I cut some salmon into one, one inch um, cubes. And of course that is actually in my air fryer right now. Um, it's already cooked at 350 for about 12 minutes. You don't even really need to flip it. Um, but I did cook it on my favorite tool, which is Ooh, a parchment paper, <laughs> because it's really easy to clean up and easy to work with. So 12 minutes, 350 degrees in your air fryer. Um, you might want to watch a little bit, just make sure that it doesn't overcook. Now, I actually utilize these rice paper, they're actually pea, made of uh, pea protein, um, but I used these for quite a while. Now they're really hard to find. I used to get them at Yolks, but now I had to order them on Amazon and they're a little more expensive. But if you're using them just for something fun once in a while, then it's not too bad. Um, but they're noragami. Um, make sure I get those egg wraps with pea protein. And they're great, they're super easy to use. They're really low calorie. For one, it's 20 calories, um, really low carb. So it makes it super easy and if you're keto, it's still a great option. Okay, so I actually wet one down just to make it a little more pliable. Now on top of that, I'm gonna add a little bit of sliced avocado because of course avocado is good in everything. I um, mean, it's a very healthy fat. So um, just an excellent, an excellent option um, to get your healthy fats. To that, now I know that some people are into cucumber, but it does give this a good crisp crunch. So we're gonna add a little bit of sliced cucumber to the top of that. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add my salmon. Now, again, I've, I've cut it in one ounce, or sorry, one square inch chunks, but I also have a couple of flat pieces, so I'm just going to use those really quick today. Again, don't overcook it because otherwise it's not going to taste good. Um, and I'm going to wrap that up. Now, it, it's important that you get the, the wrap wet or it's not going to be pliable. You're not going to be able to fold it and tuck it and be able to um, fry it here like we're going to here in a second. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to fold it all over, make it a little square, and it is ready to go. All right, now on the stove, I have a pan heating with some olive oil. Now, I actually would prefer to use avocado or macadamia nut oil, uh, but I don't currently have any of that. I'm using what I have, which is the olive oil. You have to watch it. Olive oil does not have a very high smoking point, so you don't want to let it get too hot. You don't want to let it burn. Coconut oil would also work, but if you don't like the flavor of coconut, you know, stick with the, the avocado oil or the macadamia oil. They're both great options. They're both healthy for you. Now, make sure that those come in a dark glass container. The problem with vegetable oil and canola oil is that they're made um, with toxic chemicals, right? So high industrial, uh, industrial chemicals. Um, these should be cold pressed and stored in a dark bottle out of the light, right? You don't want it to go rancid. Um, so I put a little bit of that in my pan. I'm going to add my little wrap that I've got going on. Don't worry, we have a dip too. I'm going to add this to my pan so that it can fry just a little bit on each side. I'm just going to pay attention. Again, I don't want that to burn. And I do have one done that I'll show you in a second, but we're going to let that cook for a minute. All right, now we're going to make a dipping sauce. Um, some people like dipping sauce. When I go to sushi, I don't even use dipping sauce or soy anymore because I like the flavor of the sushi itself. But for this, we're gonna add this, make it a very interesting um, option for a dip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, coconut aminos, which is actually to me a lot better than soy sauce. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of the coconut amino. Well, that's a two tablespoon, that'll be a little much. Okay. Now this one is also a little bit lower, lower in sodium. We don't wanna add, now it's important to add sodium to your diet or salt to your diet if you're eating super clean because you do need that for your electrolyte balance. But most people, if you're eating a standard American diet, you're getting way too much sodium because it's a preservative that's in pretty much every processed food. So keep that in mind. All right, before I add this, I'm gonna flip my little packet here. Now the look out that made it, uh, her little video used chopsticks. I'm not gonna do that today, although I do love chopsticks. Um, but I don't have any and <laughs> okay, so to that I'm going to add some, I believe it's called tamari, if I'm doing that wrong, fact check me, um, but this is also low sodium, I chose that on purpose, I'm going to do a tablespoon of that, alright, to that I'm going to add a fourth 
teaspoon of minced garlic. Now all I have here is a half, so I'm just gonna fake it. I do that sometimes, I just, you know. All right, and then to that I'm also gonna add a half teaspoon of sesame seeds. Now I found most of these at my local Walmart, so it's, you should be able to find most of this, probably not the wraps, but everything else you should be able to find at your local Walmart. All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna take my whisk, right? I'm gonna mix that really, really well. And of course you can double this if you're making a bunch of these, right? Or maybe that's just let it break. Take a little bit in a little bowl. All right, so that's ready to go. I'm gonna check my wrap over here. I think we're just about done. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Let me add this to my little plate here. And again, if you have chopsticks, you know you can find those on Amazon, so no excuses. Um, if you want some chopsticks, you can make it somewhat, you know, a great cuisine with that. Uh, totally your choice, but again, something fun. I'm always looking for something different that's healthy because there's so much garbage out there. Guys, it's actually getting to the point where fast food is just as expensive or more expensive than good, healthy, nutritious options. So why would you not choose something that makes you happier and healthier? Yeah, I know that stuff tastes good, but so does this. That's the best part is you can have great tasting, healthy food. So stay tuned. I will put the recipe down below if you're on YouTube. Be sure to check out the rest of my YouTube videos on Film More Fitness because the goal is to eat as well as you possibly can to be optimal. So have a great day, you guys, and until next time, that's Meals with Melissa. Bye now.